YouTube, YouTube. What up, though? It's Friday. Excuse me, I don't know the date. Uh, May 13th? Well, how the fuck did I forget that? It's Friday the 13th. Knock on wood. Maybe that's why I don't really like my cut. I got a shape up. As it probably looks normal now, but he pushed it back a little bit. I can tell when I looked in the mirror. I was like, oh, my God, man. I was like... All my cuts never been bad. This is the first time. So maybe that's why it's Friday the 13th. But this is just uh, dirty. This is just like a random blog, blog, I guess a prequel. Because I'm actually going to do a, a, a interesting. Uh, what? I, I don't even, I'm so lost with. Y'all got to mind me. I'm under the weather right now. I just got sick this morning from my daughter. I'm feeling it now. So I'm losing train of thought. But this is a prequel to the uh, hype beast theory that I always do. Basically, tomorrow. This is like, like I said, this is Friday, 13th of May, uh, 2016. Uh, I'm just riding around. I just dropped my daughter off to her mother. Uh, I'm literally riding around and getting home. So maybe I'll just do a video now uh, explaining what I'm going to do tomorrow morning. Basically, it's hype beast theory tomorrow morning. If y'all didn't know, uh, supposedly the Air Drunk 10. Part, some of the series, uh, city series pack is releasing tomorrow, which I don't like none of them. I don't like the Chicago, I don't like the, I think they're the LAs. I didn't like the NYC. I mean, they're, eh, it's cool, but not for what, how much they want. They do, I don't care. Everybody get mad, but they do look like a poor man, uh, OVOs. Of course, the, there are differences, but I mean, in the nutshells, all black 10 with gold accent, just like the uh, OVOs. Uh, I just seen images of the London ones. They look like shadow tins in a sense to me. Uh, the real ones, I ain't gonna lie. They, they, I like the bottom, but I have to see them in person. Everybody tell me you had to see them in person because I thought the upper was white. If they was white, I was uh, considering getting them, but I heard it's like a silver platinum color. I'm like, uh, I don't know. Like I, I can't really get down with that on, on damn near any sneaker. That's like a 3M color. But uh, everybody's telling me uh, you got to see them in person. You got to see them in person. Uh, Y'all got to mind me. I'm driving, so I'm trying to pay attention to the road. And I almost caused two accidents right there. But uh, the actual one I'm going for tomorrow is a shocker, but not a shocker when it comes to me. Uh, the Air Jordan 10 GG. Uh, vivid pinks. I know, I know. But I mean, I do like the color pink. It's not like I want the color pink to. Uh, I gotta put the phone down a little bit. Cop on patrol. I don't want to think I'm FaceTiming. But uh, it's not that like I'm a diehard pink fan. I'm not homo, gay, or anything. I have no problem with them or nothing. I just like the colorway. Like, I don't understand why I'm wearing pink or man wearing pink is such a big deal like i put this on my instagram you know follow me follow me tsjsb610 follow my brother tsj underscore tsj hk underscore 22 but uh i don't see what's the big deal like i don't get it like i put it on instagram picture of four highly covenant pink colorway shoes or has hints of pink in it like made for men the the, the biggest one the south beaches I mean, it's only a couple hits on the actual shoe, but it has pink laces. And like, I, everybody I know that owns that shoe or wants that shoe or likes that shoe, they all like it with the pink laces. They don't like it with the simple black ones. Let's not forget the all the the pinkest shoe, most prominent uh, men's shoe, the fucking Aunt Pearls, the first ones, the, the four. They're the most expensive Aunt Pearls, and they like the uh, the most sought after and, and like. The whole shoe was just that same hot pink that's on the ones every uh, Jordan and nobody saying no man should wear. I'm just I'm just really venting because everybody was like saying making making fun of a lot of dudes who bark the pink twelve saying that uh, oh no man should be wearing pink this other before. But it's just like I don't understand what's the difference because it's made for a girl. If I can fit it and I like it, I'm going to buy it. So I'm not worrying about that. But the reason why I'm making this video is because it's super fast. I literally work tomorrow, so I can't get them online. I don't think they're going to be as hard to get. I could be wrong. Not going with, don't quote me. I could be wrong, but I don't think they're going to be as hard to get like the uh, Vivid 12 pink ones. I think more so those was more so because one, everybody loved 12 all of a sudden for some reason. And that was around income tax time. And people just had money to blow. And every, that's that's a lot of people's theory and my theory. Y'all, I didn't even notice. Y'all probably really can't even see me. Like, this sun is like fucking blinding me. 
But uh, that's a lot of people's theory why uh, the, what is those damn stickers called? The, I keep calling them stealths. I do not know why. The uh, Master 12s. Damn, what the Master 12s, why they uh was like sold out so quick and so sold out because everybody had tax money. Because Finch Blues, don't get me wrong, they were sold after, but they didn't go, they went fast, they didn't go like crazy. The lines wasn't crazy for those, like the uh them, them uh keep on stuff. I don't know why. Those master 12s, like like they're it's an all black 12. Like I'm not understanding why they so and as y'all can see. The resale value on those has dropped. I mean, they still go for a little penny, but it's not like when they first released. And the, the Dynamic 12s was going for like crazy stupid amounts, but they don't go for as much no more. It was just hype. So I feel as though this one, like people don't even like 10s like that, except for them OVOs. So I don't think these will be that hard to get if I wanted to get them online. But what I'm going to try to do is, I'm trying to get them in person. And mind you, I said I'll work tomorrow. But the one mall that I got the 12s from, I called them and checked out everything. They getting up to a nine and a half. I'm literally going to try to run over there on my lunch break. My lunch break is only half an hour. It take about 10, 15 minutes to get there. So I'm literally, I don't, I don't want nobody to practice this. I'm, just, I'm going to do something that I don't normally do. I'm not even going to discuss it right now. I'll wait till if I'm successful in this to do it. But I'm going to try to get them on my lunch break and run back and again i may not be able to be successful because it could be a line i don't know so what i'm going to do is before i go to work i gotta be to work at seven and i think they open the doors for the mall to let you like go in at six o'clock because old people are uh senior citizens are literally in there like walking the mall all day they do laps i don't know why maybe that's their exercise i have no idea but they let them do it every morning so the doors is already open so that, that's what happened with the uh 12s i went up there I picked my brother up first to see if it was a line or whatever because he got off work at like 7. I went there to see if it was a line and it was like five people up there so I let him sit up there and I went and got my uh, my lady so we can get the other pair. So I'm, I'm hoping that doesn't happen this time because nobody's talking about this shoe. Like that 12, everybody, men, women, kids, everybody was talking about that shoe and it was like not too far from Easter. So that's another reason why there's no the only holiday coming up is Father's Day. And in a lot of women's minds, especially black women's minds, that's deadbeat day. Like, nobody really celebrates that day. I celebrate it to an extent because I'm a father. But other than that, nobody really celebrates that day. That day is not even, like, really known. It's only known for real fathers. But that's only so many people. So that's, that's the game plan. I'm going to go up there and right before work to see if it's a long line or whatever the case may be. So if I feel as though the line is too long, I'm still gonna go up there on my lunch break to see if I have a shot. But I'm gonna be a little scared because I'm going to log as much as I can. And it's gonna be hard because I'm gonna need my actual phone if I can't get the shoe in hand. I'm gonna need my phone to try to get it online. And you already know how them sites are when uh, I release it. Like, I don't give a fuck if you're trying to get a normal shoe. You're trying to get a Roshi, uh, Ultra Boost. Uh, I'm just naming shoes that, like, maybe a lot of people go after, but it's not like, oh, as soon as they come out right in there, they sold the fuck out. No, like, you can literally still have time to get the shoe. I don't care if you're just going in to get a t shirt. Them sites will crash. They will not work. I do not know why. Like, I tried to go on, I think, finish line one time. I didn't go to the links of the release shoes or nothing. I literally just went on finish line and I think I was looking for a shoe or something because of the fact they gave me a $20 uh, gift card because of the fact I'm a member and I uh, when I bought them, uh, them cement fours, they gave me, they sent it to me as a like a, a appreciation thing. I don't know what they And I wanted to use it before it expired. It expired literally in like two weeks. But uh, when I went on there, I didn't go to no links. I just went to finishline.com. The whole site was down because of the releases. I'm like, I'm not on a link to an actual release page or nothing. I'm just on your main page. And it's still not working because of these fucking releases. So that's why I'm scared it, when I go in there and vlog to try to get the shoe and I can't get it. My next step is to get them online. If I don't get them online, then I'm still going to get the shoe, but I'm going to have to wait a while because 
I gotta wait for that hype to die down because I'm not paying no crazy ass resale. The most I'll pay for that shoe is maybe mm, 170, 180 because the shoe retails for 140. I don't think that shoe should be no more than uh 180 resale. They're gonna try to stick it to niggas like me that wear a size nine and a half because that's like the last size you can get, and it's not that many. They don't make that many nine and a halves from what I see. Every time I ever got a nine and a half from a store, it's like. They had one or two pairs in that size, and that's it. So, like every time I go on eBay or any of these sites to try to get a nine and a half shoe, I'm still trying to get a nine and a half for the uh, the all white uh, citrus eleven lows because I didn't have money in the bank. I had cash on me, so I was at work and I couldn't get the shoe. And I was just trying to see if like it was gonna sell out crazy, and it did. And still to this day, I cannot find a pair under two hundred. Shit, I could barely find a pair of my size. For 200 the cheapest I'm finding is 280 300 I'm not about to fucking pay that. I can't even find a used pair. So that tells me everybody's sitting on them nine and a half. Nobody bought them. A lot of people didn't buy them to wear. They bought them to flip. But nobody's buying them because they feel as though that's a great school shoe. Why the fuck should I be paying you fucking 300 fucking dollars for that shoe when nobody's want? That's why I'll never understand these resellers. Y'all so quick to get a, a long flip that y'all sit on these shoes for fucking years and they'll never move. And their whole thing is, well, if I sit on them for years and years and years, then the value of them will go up because that's what happened in the past. A lot of these older shoes that nobody was worried about no more, the value went up on the, on the older they got because the materials were so good and we began getting such, such shitty materials that those are more sought after. But now they ain't shit no more because it's this whole fucking market is saturated. So I know I've been talking long. <laughs> Damn, I didn't know it was that long. Eleven minutes. This is like, this is like a vlog. I'm not gonna put this. I may. I don't know. Uh, put this on the actual. Uh, no, I won't. I'll just do another one. Uh, I was gonna put this on the beginning of the hype beast theory, but no, I just mix like a pre or something like that. Just be talking. It was just honestly, this vlog was just to talk about what was going on. Plus, kill time because. I took the long way. I usually take the highway from my daughter's mother's house and I get home in like five minutes. But the fact that I gotta make a couple stops, I said I'll take the long way. And I was bored. So I said I might as well just do a, a, a video. I ain't made one so long. So when I get home, take my medicine, and I'm gonna try to hurry up and do a, uh, what the fuck? I'm so out of it. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Uh, do a uh, show and tell because I Ben was supposed to do one. I did that vintage, that vintage video off of Humbug just because I had the shoes on. So yeah, maybe that's all I do. I know I'm gonna do one at least. I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say, well, I'm gonna try to knock out three and just spread them out because I never do it. But that's the goal. But for sure, I'll do at least one. So I get to y'all tomorrow morning or maybe later on tonight if I'm up to it. Who knows?